What's up guys, it's Nolan here from iPhone Tech Lab and in today's video I'm going to be testing out voice dictation for the iPad. Now voice dictation was just released yesterday on March 17th in, uh, and it includes in iOS 5.1 but it is exclusively just for the iPad 3rd generation or the new iPad, whatever you want to call it. It is just for that. Nothing else, not the iPad 2. Uh, it's not going to mean an update for the whatever 5.1. It's just for the iPad 3. Now, a downfall to this that everyone was kind of sad about and uh, surprised to not see it was that the Siri did not come to the iPad 3. Um, but it does have the horsepower to run Siri, so let, let's hope later on that they will include it in a newer uh, software update. But for just right now, we have voice dictation. And if you guys don't know what voice dictation is, it is a part of... Uh, what comes with Siri basically and it is uh, tra it translates your uh, voice to text and so in this video I'm just going to be testing that out and voice dictation works in any app uh, where you can open the keyboard and uh, type so let's go ahead and use the note app right here so when you pull out the keyboard you will see at the bottom left this little mic icon right here just like you see in the iPhone 4s and I'm just gonna go ahead and test that out so what you do is you tap on it, you talk and it will uh, 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 translate your voice into text. So, ready? Here we go. I'll just say some stuff. I love my new iPad. It's very awesome. Just tap it to end it, and it's going to um, think about it. And there you go. It says it right away, just like that. It says, I love my new iPad. It's very awesome. So, it, you can see it's working pretty accurately. Um, it should it should work just as well as the iPhone 4s. I haven't actually put them next to each other to tell, but uh, it should work just as well. Let's go ahead and try some other things. We'll go ahead and do a new paragraph. I'm trying out the new voice dictation in the new iPad that was released with iOS 5.1. Kind of a long thing. Let's see what this is. I'm trying out the new voice dictation in the new iPad that was released with iOS 5.1. So you can see it's working perfectly. And so this is going to help out in a bunch of bunch of new areas where you can because it is kind of difficult to type on the iPad. Yeah, they did new they did add new things where it makes it easier and everything, but who doesn't like just talking and have the text appear right away? So that is a very cool thing and it is working very well. Let's go ahead and do a very long kind of thing uh, and see how well it picks that up. <clears throat> I'll just go on about some stuff. So yesterday I camped out all night in front of Best Buy to buy the new iPad. And it is very awesome and I am loving it so far. Right now I'm using the voice dictation and just testing out how well it is going to pick up my voice and then translate it into text. Alright, so let's see how well it did. Okay, so yesterday I camped out all night in front of Best Buy to buy the new iPad and it's very awesome and I'm loving it so far. Right now I'm using the voice dictation and just testing out uh, how well it, how well is going to pick up my voice and then translate it into text. So it did say just one little error uh, but that, <laughs> that was a big paragraph so it worked very well. And another thing you can add in punctuations if you want. Like um, I'll read some part over this. I'll say so yesterday I camped out all night in front of Best Buy period to buy the new iPad oh wait I messed up there that's not a period uh, but you get the idea let's go ahead and see how well that picked up so yesterday I camped out all night in front of Best Buy and it added a period and then capitalized the two so it, is, it does work very well and adds the punctuation there and I'm, I'm very surprised at this and this is going to help me out tons in everything I use so you can see whatever you do it's going to be there and use it such as like Safari if I was to go and use Google search and tap on that it's going to be right there as well so it's going to work very well and I haven't actually put it up next to an iPhone 4s but it should work just as well for that and if you guys know let me know in the comment section and so I can check that out but uh, if you guys found this video enjoyable as always give me a thumbs up down there and subscribe above and then head over to my channel and you guys can see my other videos on the iPad um, and some other tech uh, stuff such as reviews and whatnot but with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.